consumer mathematics uh, for business and personal finance. Once again here we're looking at section 14.4. So on section 14.4, we're talking about cash discount ordinary dating. Uh, so basically, some places offer that, hey, here's a cash discount if you are to pay within a certain amount of time. Uh, so basically, you'll be receiving an invoice for each purchase you make from a supplier. Uh, this invoice itemizes what you purchased. Uh, to encourage you to make a prompt payment or a payment as soon as possible, a cash discount um, is offered if the bill is paid within a certain amount of time in here. Uh, today we're talking about ordinary dating. So there are a couple different ways companies do this. Uh, this is one of the approaches that are on here. Okay, so we start looking at this, we start looking at a cash discount. So a cash discount is taking that net price or what you owe times that discount rate, whatever it would be, saving 10% on there if you pay right away or um, otherwise you'll be paying a fuller price if you don't pay within a certain amount of time. Uh, the cash price then will be taking your net price minus that cash discount, so whatever you're taking off uh, would be what you're going to owe then. Okay, or basically we can take a look at our cash price is going to equal the net price times the complement of our cash discount. So basically, um, we can look in here instead of figuring out all our cash discount, um, we can take the net price times a complement of what it is. So if you have 25% off, you're paying 75% down here is what this is getting at. Um, a lot of times on a bill, we'll see this written. We'll see like a five line 10 or five by or five divided by 10 is what it kind of looks like. Uh, and then net 30. So what this is meaning is that this first number will talk about that you will receive a 5% discount uh, in the first 10 days, you know, uh, and then the number of days to pay the bill. So it's due at that uh, 30 times. So once again, we talk about the percent of cash discount. This number talks about the discount available within the amount of days, so 10 days in this case, uh, and then this net 30 means that the net price must be paid within 30 days of the date of invoice before it's going to be considered late. Okay, so if we start looking at some problems here. Okay, so if we come over, uh, problem 1 through 6 has this problem listed out. It, it talks about um, you have an invoice. Uh, the date is July 8th. Terms are 3, 10, and then N30, and the net price you're paying for is $640. Okay, so um, what we have going on here is we have this whole scenario set up basically uh, within. So I'm gonna try to leave my scenario right here and bring our paper with for what we're talking about. Uh, so once again, we're asked the last day to take a discount. So if we look back up here, we notice that the last day to take a discount is going to be related to this 10 that's right here. So we have 10 days after. So we're going to take our July 8th and we're going to add 10 days. Uh, so 8 plus 10 would be the 18th then. So July 18th is the last day to pay um, this or, or to receive a discount, not to pay. But once again, to receive that discount. Uh, now it says last day to pay the invoice. Okay, so just the payment towards this invoice before it's being considered late. Once again, that's where that um, N-30 or that net 30 uh, comes in into this. Um, so we're going to take July 8th plus 30, uh, which will be July 38th. But for those of us that have paid attention and know that July does not have 38 days in it, please do realize July does not have 38 days. Uh, July only has 31 days. So what we're going to do is July has only 31 days in. So if we take that 38 and we subtract the 31 days off of July, um, that means that we get 7 in the next month. So July then turns into August. So August 7th would be our last day to make payment on this. Now, 
Problem three then asks us, what would the cash discount, or what's our cash discount? Okay, so once again, if we look back here, we had our three line 10, so basically 3% within 10 days of paying the bill, bill has to be paid within 30 days. Uh, so 3% discount, so if we take our 640 times our 3% or 0 0.03, we see that the cash discount will be $19.20. Um, so that means we would owe, as number four says, the cash price, 640 minus the discount, would be $620.80. Um, this means that if we pay within the first 10 days or by, let's see here, it was... July 18th, so if we pay by July 18th, we'll owe $620.80. Uh, number five then talks about the complement property. Once again, that complement property, we gotta figure out what is that price that's going in here. So if we have a 3% discount, that means we're paying for 97% of this. Uh, so if we're paying for 97%, uh, we can take our net total of uh, 640 times 0.97 uh, giving us $620.80. So once again, two ways to figure out what we actually owe in the end after this discount. Uh, the complement way requires instead of taking 3%, then find ways of subtracting it off. Uh, we can basically say, well, we got to pay 97%, which is 0.97. Multiplier, so this is what we're going to owe then. Uh, once again, this is only good within the first 10 days of this invoice. Uh, Otherwise, it's $640 if we pay after that, but we have to pay within 30 days. Uh, so this kind of sums up what our cash discount ordinary dating is. Once again, it just gives from the invoice date, uh, requiring more of a prompt payment going towards it.